Welcome back to Trading Wars. This video is going to be part one of my professional Fibonacci trading course. I want to really give you guys a free full scope course on YouTube uh, where you can learn about the fibs and apply them to your trading each and every day. So this is one of the topics that I'm known um, for that I've been doing really well with on my call outs on Twitter with my swing plays and my day trading. And a lot of people have been asking for more details. So this is why I'm starting this course. I really hope you guys enjoy and um, learn a lot. All right. So we're going to start off, first of all, with what are FIBs? So Fibonacci is retracements of a trend. Okay. So every trend must have an impulsive leg. What an impulsive leg means is a push either up or down in one direction, right? So we can we can look at this chart that I have right here and we can say, this is an impulsive leg down. We can say, this is an impulsive leg up. Impulsive means that it it's not um, in a range. It's not consolidating. It is moving um, in that direction with force. And we can see this with force here, okay? So, the first step in Fibonacci trading is identifying the impulsive leg because the low of the impulsive leg and the high or the high and the low will become your anchor points. Okay. So let's look at the situation for the long. So if we were to take the Fibonacci of this leg, we would start from the low to the high. Okay. And while we're here with this tool, let me spend some time talking about how to use this tool. So in TradingView and many other platforms, there's the Fibonacci tool. I use this one here, Fibonacci retracement. And then I'm going to talk to you about the settings that I have. So the style, so these are the main fibs that I have. 382, 50, 236, 618, 786. Something that um, I like to have that others won't is the 886. And then the extensions are basically just a reflection of these retracements. And I also add this 10% um, right here, which is something that I've done um, and learned from uh, hours of back testing. I've learned that this 10% extension is also a major level. Okay. So what we're expecting with the Fibonacci is after an impulsive leg that there's going to be a retracement because whenever the market moves aggressively in one direction, we have to reset and we have to reset many things. We have to reset indicators. So like for example, RSI, MACD, at this point, it's going to be really, really extended. So we have to reset indicators. We also have to let some um, buyers that were down here take some profits. Okay. And we also have to let some shorts make a little bit of money. So that's why whenever we have an impulsive leg, you're going to see a retracement. Okay. So with this retracement, the major levels that we want to look for are here. Okay. The 236 is a very shallow retracement. So that retracement would look like this. And normally I don't like using that retracement because it's not deep enough. The money retracements are really the 50 and the 618. Okay. Those are the money retracements. And we can also um, have good risk to reward with the lower retracements. But anytime we get down here, sometimes uh, we're in jeopardy of breaking the swing low because, you know, this type of retracements is very, very um, deep, but it can also produce some of the best risk to reward trades because if we can get involved down here with the stop loss at the swing low and the market rallies, like you'll see in some of these examples, we can make a lot of money with very low risk. Okay. So now we have the impulsive leg and we have the retracements. What we are expecting from these retracements is continuation of the initial leg. And this is what we call reading price action. So if we have a push like this up and a pullback to the Fibonacci levels, we're expecting a pop back up either to this previous resistance or somewhere in this zone. Or if the trend is very strong, we're going to break through this high and we're going to hit these extensions on the way up. Okay. And the extensions are very powerful tools for reversals because the algorithms and the traders that use Fibonacci will have limit orders to empty their position at these extensions.
Okay. So how we, how we could potentially see a setup is a pullback to the 50 and then a trade to the 50 target, or we could see a pullback to the 50, a trade back here to the previous high and double top failure. Okay. Or we could see a pull back to the 236 and then a drop even lower and then another bounce like this. So there's, there's different iterations of how the FIB can play out. But what the main point is, is these areas are good areas to look for bounces, okay? So that's how we look at it from the long side. Now from the short side, it's exactly the same thing. It's just flipped, right? And then I'm gonna show you guys a lot of examples in this series to really, really help you guys hit the point home, okay? So here's a short, and we can even see it's very similar to this leg here, right? So here's the short and how we're going to take the fibs for the short is we're going to start from the swing high to the swing low. So it's just the opposite, right? And as you can see, now your 50 is here, your 618, your 786 and so on. Okay. And then again, we're expecting a pullback to one of these fib levels and then an extension down. Okay. So this is the premise of fib. It's retracement of the leg with the possibility of continuation or at least a bounce. And when you build systems, you have to use this thesis in order to build profitable systems um, in trading. So why do they actually work? Well, the main reason Fibonacci's work are because the markets are dominated by algorithms and robots. And robots need to be programmed at specific price levels in order to buy. And the easiest way to program a, a robot is buying at retracements because they're just percentages of legs. And um, that's why it's such an efficient tool because you're actually trading like a robot and you're getting on the edge of where the robots are. Okay. So we talked about fibs being trend continuation. We talked about the impulsive legs. We talked about why they work. And now I'm going to draw uh, some few examples and I'm going to keep it short so that we can get to more in part two. Okay. But here are some examples. So let's look at the short for this um, for the S&P 500 on the hourly chart um, recently, okay? So I like taking recent examples. I don't like doing hindsight things, okay? So this was um, one of the setups I called live was the long, and I'm gonna show you guys the short now, okay? So we take from the swing high down to the swing low, okay? So right when we come to the 50% zone and the 618, we have rejection, right? So you could have entered in this area um, anywhere with a stop loss above, let's say this swing high, or maybe the 786. And I'm going to talk about different ways of actually using the strategy in a, in another video, um, because that's a big topic, but this is the basic premise. We pull back to the 50 to 618. We roll over again, we retest this low. And in this case, it becomes a double bottom and we continue higher. So this is an impulsive leg down. Here's a retracement. Here's a continuation. And in this case, the continuation is reversed. We do not get to the targets, which is totally fine uh, because we're definitely at least being locking in some prop partial profits over here. Okay. And then now let's look at it for the long. So the long, I actually been calling out on the last few days on Twitter um, for my followers, but this was the uh, regular trading hours low on Wednesday, uh, I'm sorry, on Tuesday. So we take this low to the swing high and then we can clearly see the Fibonacci levels, okay? So we had uh, the major Fibonacci that, uh, that I told you guys about that I like are the 50 and the 618. And we could see here that we tagged the 618, we bounced, we tagged the 618, we bounced again. So this is how we can get high probability zones and we can make money. So we could take this, go down to a lower time frame, find a smaller entry and bang in, um, you know, a thousand bucks here, a thousand bucks here, okay? With very, very small risk. And now I'm going to go to the five minute chart to show you guys some more examples. And then we're going to wrap up this video. Okay. So here on the five. So the great thing about Fibonacci is it works on all time frames, as above, so below in trading. That is very, very true because um, there's robots on every single time frame trying to make some money. Okay. So let me actually go to the beginning of the week so we can start and we can draw it together. Okay. So let's start with this gap down here. And I'm going to remove, remove these fibs so I can really teach you guys. Okay, so we have this gap down. I'm gonna zoom in. So let's identify the impulsive leg together. 
So what's the first directional move that happens on the day? Well, the first move that happens on the day is we have this impulsive push up. Okay. So in real time, when this push happens and we start to retrace, you need to go ahead and draw the fibs. So we're going to take it from the low to the high. And as you can see, the 618 zone here was uh, the reversal area. And we also got a beautiful reversal doji candle at the area as well. So this is how you would trade um, the Fibonacci on a five minute chart. You go down, you see the 618, you can enter above the candle or you can use limit orders, which I'll talk about in another video. And then in here, we had trading initially first to the 10% extension. And then if we just extend this further, look exactly where we stop. We stop at the 786 extension. Do you guys see how picture perfect that is? Let's take a second to look at this again. I really, I really wanna put this point home. Pull to the 618, trade to the 786, and look at these wicks. One, two, three, four. If that doesn't prove the power of Fibonacci, I don't know what will. The robots are programmed to buy at the levels and sell at the extensions, okay? So let's just talk, talk about hypothetically how much you could make on this trade. So let's say we entered on this candlestick right here, okay? And put a stop down here. If we taken it all the way to the 786, that's five and a half times your risk. Five and a half times your risk, if you're risking a thousand bucks, that's $5,500, okay? If you're risking 10,000 bucks, do the math, okay? So I really hope that, that that really shows the power of Fibonacci. And I really, really wanna teach you guys this. That's why I'm doing this because I see this all the time and uh, a lot of people will be like, oh, I don't know why the market reversed here. Look at this candle, it's so bearish. Oh my God, the market is against me. Oh my God, everybody's against me. They're looking for my stops, blah, blah, blah. Just learn the material. And that's what I'm here to teach you guys. This is why the market reverses here because of the Fibonacci, okay? All right, the next, so now the next setup. So we had this impulsive leg, okay? Now we have another impulsive leg. So as you get better, you're gonna be able to see this like I do. Here's another impulsive leg up, right? We clearly break this swing high right here, okay? And now let's draw the fib for that and let's see what happens. Boom, look at that. Tag the 618 bounce, tag the 618 bounce, tag the 618 bounce, and guess what? We're hitting the 236 each time. How many times could you have scalped this for money? And then the ultimate draw where was it the 786 tagged it to the penny and then we ripped higher okay and then now once you are able to identify those legs the next step which is more advanced is looking at the opposing and i'm going to do a video on the opposing altogether. but here's the opposing leg okay so we have an opposing leg here meaning this is the this is a short leg down. So what are we gonna do when we're looking for a short leg down? Well, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna take uh, the short side of the fib, okay? Now look at this, 618, 618, 618, trade to 10% extension. Absolutely stunning and beautiful. For me, this is like art. I really, really love this, all right? And that's why they call me the Fibonacci King. So I'm gonna wrap up this video right here because I don't want it to run too long. I know that the longer my videos go, the less people uh, watch and I really want to keep it informative and I want you guys to learn. So I'm going to keep them short and I'm going to keep them coming periodically as long as you guys show me interest. Please like and comment because I'm a small YouTuber. I don't get much views. And if you guys want to learn the secrets, you got to show me some love. All right. Last thing today is Black Friday and I'm doing a sale just like everyone else out there. I want to, um, you know, be able to give back to you guys. And that's why I'm doing the sale today with Black Friday. Uh, so go to tradingwars.com slash services. See if you like what I, um, what I do. For, for me, the best seller that I've uh, helped over 30 people um, now is with my apprentice program, where I train you every, every day in the market, basically. And I work with you so that you can learn all these things. If you're interested in that, please DM me on Twitter. Check out tradingwars.com slash services, all right? Please, guys, show me some support. I, I really need help to grow this channel. Um, and I really think that what I'm teaching you guys is not what other people are going to be teaching you. All right. I'm teaching you guys things that's taken me thousands of hours and years to learn. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day.